What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And do not forget to stop by CMPKits.com this weekend and this weekend only. Use the code SUMMER40 for 40% 40 off your entire shopping cart. Please don't forget to load up your Spotify, follow the Spicy Sundays podcast with me and MG The Future every sunday live on youtube and uploaded to spotify also don't forget to follow me on instagram at craftmaster3 it is the easiest way to get a hold of me now today we're going to be looking at a uh, a technique that we're going to use inside studio one five and that is how to get you know a loud clean uh mix and master on a on a uh, trap track that does not use a kick if you guys are familiar with my channel and my philosophy uh around mixing it basically centers around having um you know having a kick be the loudest part of the track mixing around that because um the secret sauce to getting a loud and clear mix and having your you know your drums and your kicks and your 808s come through is to make them the loudest part of the track it is not to add a whole bunch of plugins to your sound it is not to apply a, a whole lot of uh saturation and uh you know different um you know goofy chains of um of plugins to your 808s it's just to you know get a get the right balance with your sounds and i'm gonna show you how to do that you can replicate this uh, very simply right so with um we're gonna pull our faders down uh with uh, you know you got a real simple beat it's a loop it's five sounds probably looks like a lot of you guys's beats um what you want to do is you want to start with your 808 and um for this for this method and this is this is this is this applies to not having a kick in your beat right you're just using the 808 um so what you want to do first is you want to is you want to select a great 808 sound. This 808 right here, um, this is from a good kit. This is from the Murder Beats a uh, uh, splice kit. You can also use you know kits like BWB, Oz. All of those kits are you know um, they're ready to go as far as processing you don't need to put a bunch of stuff on it as a matter of fact you put stuff on it you're gonna wind up undoing what they did you know and these are these are guys these are guys with records these are the guys that you want to be like so um you, you can trust their sounds now uh what you want to do is you want to kind of um increase the volume of this 808 until you get you know around like is somewhere around like negative three right Right. So you got so you got you, you've got your you've got your kick there. You know, now now you could go to your next sound. You go ahead and bring your, uh, you know, your snare, your clap in. All right, great. Now you can now you can go ahead and pull your perk up. Perfect. Now you go ahead and bring your hi-hat up. You hear how now you've got a, you know, you're starting to get a nice drum balance here. Your 808 is super loud and it's out front. Now all you got to do is bring your instruments in or your loop in, right? Check this out. Now here's here's where here's where I think this is where a lot of people mess up when you're when you're doing you know when you're bringing your instruments in uh, you don't th they don't need to be like super loud with the 808 once you put the once you put the limiter on this you're gonna be able you're gonna be able to hear all this and once somebody puts a voice on like an artist would prefer to have loud drums and quiet instruments than loud instruments because the the artist's voice has to compete with this instrument here so you know once you get this mixed down um you know somewhere between you know negative 24 and negative 12 is where you want this all 
right and then once you get this you just need you just need the little bit of extra loudness so uh just j just to show you how like how simple and you know and, and dead easy this is i'm going to use i'm a, i'm going to use the stock limiter inside studio one and i'm just going to i'm just going to turn this gain knob up to get the to get this extra last bit of volume And then once you do that, you're going to be like negative 10, you know, negative nine, eight luffs. And that's it. That's it. You've got this. This is this is going to play loud on every system. It's going to translate. The 808 is going to be the star of the show. If you actually if you actually take these beats to the studio, they're going to make the big speakers. Um, <laughs> they're going to make the big speakers dance. Um, it's it's going to come. And then depending on what sample you pick. You know it'll come across in uh you know in laptops or uh or um um you know laptops or earbuds but that you want to take care of more with selecting the right samples rather than trying to add a whole bunch of effects but that is the you know that's the simple easiest quickest way to you know mix you know mix a trap beat and then if you you know if you have more instruments and stuff like that that's what your band bus is for you know you you would you would mitigate the volume of uh of everything right there but that is the quick and easy way to mix a trap beat in studio one five where you are not using a kit you guys keep it simple seriously seriously keep it keep it simple but don't be basic and we will see you on the next one